Thomas Galen Hieronymus was a pioneer of scalar energy research and development, as his lifelong effort has served to introduce a seminal understanding of this fundamental force in nature. Hieronymus's insight as to the nature of scalar energy was so advanced that he was able to invent various scalar energy instruments that were able to assemble, disassemble, as well as detect physical matter. Subsequently, Hieronymus coined the term eloptic energy in order to describe this unrecognized primal force in nature. Eloptic energy is derived from the words electricity and optics and is synonymous with the term scalar energy. Hieronymus observed that eloptic energy possessed some of the properties of electricity as well as some of the properties of optics. Subsequently, he realized that eloptic energy is not of the electromagnetic spectrum. The scalar energy experiments of Thomas Galen, Hieronymus I, a scalar energy, cosmic pipe, was developed in order to mineralize the soil by transmuting the elements and minerals without the need of chemicals or fertilizer. Two, scalar energy was utilized to grow plants in the dark, devoid of any source of electromagnetic light, thereby proving the role that scalar energy has in the process of photosynthesis. Three, a scalar energy instrument was used to track and monitor the Apollo 11 astronauts during their lunar mission. The astronauts were tracked and monitored exclusively by way of their photographs. Four, pathogens and insects were routinely disassembled or transmuted by way of a scalar energy instrument thereby curing pathogenic disease in people, animals, trees, and plants. Five, a scalar energy instrument was utilized in conjunction with aerial photographs in order to locate people and objects. Hence, scalar energy is capable of locating any missing person or object anywhere in the world by identifying their scalar energy signature on an aerial photograph. Six, insects were eradicated from farms by way of a scalar energy instrument that posed a threat to the crops. 7. A scalar energy instrument was utilized in order to transfer the genome of a pecan tree into a walnut tree. The result was a hybridized walnut tree that possessed the genetic makeup of both a walnut tree and a pecan tree. If you are curious about scalar energy and want to learn more, visit scalarlight.com. You can also try Scalar Light for free by registering for our 15-day free trial. There is no credit or debit card required.